this shouldn't be happening. You know, this is this is drama, man. And but the thi but the thing is, it says adultery in IUIC and Bishop Nate is just tickled tickled by it. I shake my head, wickedness in these false camps. So, but the thing is, they're talking about it and they're laughing and joking like it's a joke. Like they get, and then Bishop Nate says, "I, I like, I like this stuff." Well, how can you like? You should be fucking pissed off. And I'm gonna say this again. This shouldn't. This you, you shouldn't even, you know, pull this out. Brought this subject up. You should have just pulled him to the side and said, "Look, brother, you out the school and you out the school, sister. You out the school and you out the school." So that means they're like he cast him out as a heathen, right? Unless they get get the uh, deacon of thine treatment where they can put an application in to come back next year. Because they can't say they didn't do it because they did it before and they recently did it with. Hey, Shalom, brother Ara, coming to you with another video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Shalom to all you Akiyam and you Akwa, those that are hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. IUIC continues to look bad. And really, this is a shit show, disaster awaiting or waiting to happen all right it's been a lot of things going on with this organization the latest thing as you see here says adultery in the iuic and bishop nate is just tickled by it smh wickedness in these false camps and apostle tahar re responded with adultery is no joke it's a sin unto death and that's true man all right there's there's uh first of all it's not a joke to be laughing about uh, sin, you know, especially when a camp that pushes the law, statutes, and commandments, as they say in their the uh, theatrical voices. Okay, but the Lord is revealing uh, this camp to be wicked, starting with the leadership. Uh, a couple of scriptures that come to mind: <clears throat> First Corinthians fourteen and thirty three says, "For." The Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. Haven't we been witnessing much confusion from this organization? From them not even calling on the true names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? That in itself is a red flag. Apostle Gabar did a beautiful lesson um, going into this subject matter. Um, with IUIC and one of the things he mentioned actually one of the beginning things he mentioned was them not using the names See the Lord is not dealing with this this camp or this organization They don't even call on the true names. They call on uh, Christ and JC So there's nothing but confusion because the Lord is not dealing with this this camp, right? reading it again first Corinthians 14 and 33 for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. Nothing but confusion is going on within this organization. As I mentioned, they don't use the names, right? They praise Christ and, and JC instead of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Uh, you have this whole, uh, the new moon is the full moon false doctrine, all right? The hell doctrine that they've came out with. I know recently they have spoke about how Esau is going to rise to power after a thousand years in the kingdom. I mean, it's a whole bunch of outlandish bullshit <laughs> that they have been spewing out and they've been on the hot seat every week. The Lord is exposing these these uh, demons, man, uh, starting with um, Bishop Nathaniel. OK, first Corinthians 14 and 34 says, let your women keep silence in the churches for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law. Apostle Paul wrote this to the church of Corinth for a reason. Women bring confusion. <laughs> we all can agree to that. The, uh, the men who are in this truth, the Akim that are in this truth. You know, I even have friends in the world 
or had friends in the world, I never even met their women, their woman and known them for a long time and had great uh, friendship relationships with these friends of mine because we never met each other's woman. Women bring confusion and the, the, the beautiful thing about being in this truth is that we're under the right leadership, man. This makes you appreciate the true leadership uh, of GMS. You know, so Apostle Paul wrote this letter because women were out of order, causing confusion uh, within the churches. Right. Um, verse 35. And if they will learn anything. Let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. So women should be learning at home from their man. So now we're in, you know, 2024, we have our teachers that have been set up for a long time, you know, 40 years, you know, uh, the head of Israel, Apostle Tahar. Okay, uh, they've experienced things. They've experienced being in uh, camp, you know, uh, with One West, women in, in the classrooms and in, in the schools and uh, how that brought chaos and um, confusion. So they were able to pass on their experience and, and put in uh, order that women should not be a part of this. The scriptures say, O ye men, I call. Let me bring that out. All this is important to understand and know uh, for the times we're living in, you know, who to follow and who not to follow. Proverbs 8 and 4 says unto you, O men, I call. Did, did, did it say women? Did it say men and women? Let me read that again. Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of man. The Lord is dealing with the men. Right? You got a woman, you teach a woman at home. Right? And, and there's a reason for all of these things. Because anyone, any man who has a, a sincere, um, a sincere mindset, and um, who wants to keep things in order based off of uh, the scriptures and, and the experience is going to say, look, we don't need women amongst the brotherhood. They bring confusion. Henceforth, why you have these type of issues. All right. But IUIC is looking really bad in these times, as well as you other camps that are going off. All right. Uh, the leader of Sakari um, on the No Jumper podcast. OK, a bunch of wicked niggas on the podcast talking about gang culture. The Lord is getting ready to destroy all of you false prophets, and he's going to make an example uh, amongst Israel. Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, verse uh, nine. I'll, I'll start at verse eight. It says, and I will set my face against that man. And will make him a sign and proverb and will cut him off from the midst of my people. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Verse nine. And if the prophet be be deceived when he have spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. You got prophets that were set up literally uh, to be false prophets. And they were deceived. Scriptures say the deceived and the deceiver are his. So the Lord is uh, he's got these false prophets in a trick bag and they're so prideful. And arrogant, they don't even see that they're in a trick bag. It's, it's to say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. But the Lord to see these false prophets and thinking that they are, are, are uh, on point. Right. That they're doing the right thing or, or in their mind. You know, who, who knows what they think? All right. But overall, this is the Lord having these false prophets. Be deceived. It says, and I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people. So the Lord is going to eventually destroy all these leaders amongst these false camps. IUIC, all right, Sakari, uh, prophesying with, with his head cover, his hat, um, trying to mix the truth in with gang culture. You know, being a nigga that knows scriptures, you got uh, the leader of IU, uh, ISP, ISUPK, right? All of these different leaders, man, leader of GOCC, he's getting ready to destroy these these uh, false prophets. OK, at least they repent. And I don't see, the, you know, I'm just speaking as a man. I don't see them repenting. 
but only the Lord knows. It says, and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. Um, let me see what this word "midst" means. Just to be, you know, get more clarification on that word. It says middle, all right, between, among. So the Lord is gonna, um, he's gonna destroy these leaders amongst his people, all right? So the people are gonna, are gonna see these leaders get destroyed, all right? And the Lord has done it throughout history. Verse 10 says, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. I'm going to read that in the NLT. It says, verse 10, false prophets and those who seek their guidance will be punished for their sins. So those, those followers who are uh, men worshipers, who follow you know, leaders like uh, Bishop Nathaniel, because they, they actually worship him. Anything he says goes, you know, rather than taking heed to uh, true counsel. All right. The true counsel that's being set up. Those people are going to be destroyed. You're going to have those of the elect that's a part of these camps. Is the Lord's going to draw out. And these situations are going to draw out more and more of the sincere believers. All right. This is, this is the times we're coming into, man. These are the times we're coming into. We're going to witness a uh, major judgment. All right. In Israel. Verse 10 says, the ships say uh, the Lord's going to start at his house. Those who know they're Israelites. Okay. And you're going to start at the ancient. And you go into that word ancient. It says leaders. Verse um, 11 says, going back to the KJV, Ezekiel 14, 11 says that the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted any more with their transgressions. Yeah, and our people are going astray, even though they they walk up on a camp like I, I, you, I see, and they find out they're Israelites. It's really Christianity with a twist of, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, the Israelite doctrine. They still are set up 501c3 like a Christian church, you know, like a Christian mega church, for example. Right. Um, they still call on JC. You no, know, they still move and operate like a Christian church, except the difference is the congregation knows that they're Israelites. So they're really um, uh, leading the people astray, right? It says, neither be polluted anymore with all their transgressions, right? But that they may be my people and I may be their power, said the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. So the Lord is about to pull all this shit to a stop. And he's um, clearly revealing who he's dealing with and who he's not dealing with. Malachi 3 and 18, and I'm going to close out. IUIC is looking really bad, and the Lord is getting ready to destroy that shit show. They are a shit show <clears throat> um, about to be destroyed, okay? Very soon. Malachi 3 and 18 says, Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and him that serveth him not. You know, you you should be able to discern between, you know, who's speaking 100 percent truth, all right, and who's not. If you're fearing the Lord, if you're sincerely seeking Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord is going to reveal that to you. I have a I have my testimony, as well as all you Akiim out there who have your testimonies. You know how the Lord led us, you know, to the right teachers. And the water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Thank you, Lord. You know, from for delivering us from wearing purple shirts and gold um, fringes. You know, or with any of these other false camps out there calling on Christ's blessing. Uh, you know, we could be doing any of that BS, man. But the Lord got us under the righteous teachers, <clears throat> and that all goes back to fear. Fear is the principal thing. Fear is wisdom, right? Wisdom is a principal thing. <clears throat> so I just want to um, bring out my spiritual two cents. You know, the apostles, bishops, and elders did a, a beautiful job through the spirit, hitting all the points that came to mind. So I just want to add my spiritual two cents on the Lord is getting ready to destroy IUIC. All right. And all the camps that are, are like this, this camp, 
pushing out false doctrines. All right. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.